my um, the three speaker uh, waja uh, nobat uh, mari nobat mari uh, my jwane sangate uh, baluch student organization and press secretary the london tha ma luta nobat tributes uh, to Baruch Martyrs who sacrificed for the ultimate goal uh, of national consciousness and uh, freedom of occupied Balochistan. The sacrifices of our, our martyrs not only gave Baloch nation a new life, but also awakened us from the deep sleep of 60 years. It is said that death of martyrs is the life of a nation. Baloch have already defended, uh, always defended Balochistan from the foreign invaders and intruders, whether it was Mir Mehrab Khan, the ruler of Balochistan, or an ordinary poor Baloch like Shahid Yusuf Nazar. All have proved with their sacrifices that Baloch would happily embrace any difficulties for the greater cause of freedom. Today, if Baloch are not as a nation, to the world and Baloch's struggle for freedom is gaining international momentum is all because of the struggle of a determined section of Baloch and the sacrifices of Baloch martyrs. The well-organized, honest and principled struggle has given our national identity and international recognition. Today, if the name of Baloch echoes in senates and assemblies of Western countries is due to the resolute struggle of Baloch freedom-loving activists and leaders in Balochistan and abroad. And above all, it is the martyrdom of our national heroes that made us stand tall and proved world over. The history of a nation is not written only with the inks of pens, but it took them a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to get to where they are today. I mean to say they gave enormous sacrifices for their Sovereignty and freedom. Those who think they can change the world or change the destiny of a nation without any sacrifice, in my humble understanding, they are very far from the reality because respectable nations have never succeeded without sacrifices. One thing should be very clear that Baloch martyrs have not laid their precious lives for the ambiguous term self-determination neither have they sacrificed to pave the way for pro-Pakistani Baloch parliamentarians to grab a seat in the parliament of occupying state and enjoy a luxury life in the cast of Baloch martyrs of liberation. Few years back, the leader of Baloch Pakistani Provincialist Party in a press release asked Baloch patriot leader Herbert Murray to apologize from the families of Baloch martyrs According to them, Baloch youth have fallen prey of Pakistani forces while following the vision and call of freedom by Haibar Mari. In my opinion, this statement of BNP was a cruel joke with the struggle and sacrifices of Baloch martyrs. We all should know that it is not Haibar Mari. In fact, it is the leadership of BNP who are trying to cash the sacrifices of Baloch youth and martyrs to reach to the Pakistani parliament for pity in, uh, from the logic. It will make us straight toward ad idealism. Sure, today's uh, Baloch youth is equipped with knowledge and rationalism. They know very well who is who and what is what. It is high time we should learn lessons from those nations who have supported and project Syria and even Fidel Castro of Cuba. Such people consider the power and rule of law as their ancestral property and anyone who challenges their authority is deemed to be killed, expelled, or imprisoned forever. Supporting personality without vision on the basis of emotionalism, we cannot make a democratic and just nation. We only create many dictators who would want to have their own mini empires in an independent Balochistan. Before us, those nations went through these experiences and gave priority to personalities over efficiency and made kings and earls over their national interests. Even, eventually, they did, learn, they did learn from their mistakes. They revolted against the cruel kings and dictators. Today, they reached on the top of Mars. 
we Baloch also went through similar phases from the time of Nuri Nasir Khan to Ahmed Yar Khan. So far, we have always given importance to personalities with our vision and supported emotionalism based on the sacrifices of their relatives, the result of which is we are still living in a medieval age. In my understanding, if we don't change our traits, then we might gain freedom because of the sacrifices of our martyrs. But there is no doubt that that freedom might be worse than the current slavery. We will come out of this slavery, but there is danger that we will find ourselves engaged in another battle, civil war, which is more dangerous than the current slavery. Civil wars destroy countries and nations. The example of Chakar and Guaram civil war is in front of us. More than 30,000 Baloch died in just a few years due to that civil war. Therefore, it is the time we should change our traits from now to become a civilized nation. We should rather give priority to logic and understand the power of argument and rationalism than giving any priority to emotionalism. We should make logic and rational reasoning the basic principle for post-independent Balochistan and its sketch, which will be provided to us in shape of Balochistan Liberation Charter. We should follow we should follow and implement the charter and work toward an independent Balochistan and a bright future, which is not only our demand, but it, it was also the burning desire of Baloch martyrs, as well as those who are currently languishing in enemies' torture sets. Thank you.